Last year, we hosted Valve Thumbnails to get the best thumbnails in all of anime YouTube. And our winner, Sufferance, took home the glory. This year, we're taking it to the next level. I didn't spend all year training for your everyday battle. This is a battle between fucking YouTubers. You know those people who spend hours editing an image so you can look at it for about 2.5 seconds in hopes that it makes some impact on you so you click the damn video. Ah uh, yes, I chose the right job. This is war. We're about to take this as seriously as they take soccer in Blue Lock. Because there is a monster inside and it's time to let the beast loose. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'll go back to being serious. So I gathered six amazing anime content creators to vote and represent the community in this year's competition. To all the AnyTubers out there who hope to be mentioned, I hope you upped your game this year because only the best stand a chance. This is Battle of the Thumbnails 2022. Okay, so how does all this work? Rule one. Each representative cannot vote for themselves. Weed out the narcissism, okay, okay. Rule two, each representative must vote for two anime YouTubers. Well, what exactly counts as an anime YouTuber? To count as an anime YouTuber, you must have at least 10 or more videos about anime or manga on your channel, or your channel must exclusively be about anime and manga. This also includes anime related stuff like anime video games such as Guilty Gear, etc, etc. Fascinating. Keep going, keep going. And rule four. This is where it gets a little complicated. The top three creators who receive the most votes move to the final round. And the representatives will all come back and vote for those three and that will be the winner. Okay, but what happens if all the representatives don't vote for the same content creators? Good question. If none of the representatives vote for the same person, then I, as your local judge, will step in and pick one of the representatives' choices and move them to the final round, and the representatives will come back and choose from those six, and the winner of that round will be the winner. Makes sense to me. If you missed anything, pause the video and review the rules. And now that you know the rules, let the battle begin. Welcome to Battle of the Thumbnails. How tough are you? Um, I think a pretty obvious pick, obviously, is Metis, uh, the the JoJo boy. Surprisingly enough, a lot I think a lot of people assume that he does not make his own thumbnails. He does. He does. Some of the tricks that he implements are things that I've myself have attempted to utilize. Um, one of the things that I use as an editor um, is the dotted background that kind of adds texture. I got that from him. I've never told him that, and if he sees this video and he tries to come to me and say, yo, man, that's dope, don't do that. Nasty. I, I only applaud my friends, not to their face, but on videos. That's it. One of my first thoughts was uh, Sensei. Um, I think his thumbnails are really good. Obviously, that was said last year as well. The way that he's able to, the way that, or his thumbnail designer, I guess, is able to portray kind of the, the vibe that he wants to give from the video, like, most of the time, it's like we started with hood reviews and then kind of went into more character analysis. Be able to throw on like maybe tattoos on the characters or add just different things to them. That kind of gives off the vibe you're trying to go for. My first pick is uh, Lines in Motion. Every time there is a video by them, I just, I click, can't help it. I don't even know it's them. I just see their thumbnail and I, I, I can't be helped but drawn to it. Definitely sure that they're a uh, artist and you can tell that like they i don't know they come at it as an artist like storytelling is just in the thumbnail you can see first pick is esper i just love the design of all of them i just feel like they're really like they're really interesting and the colors of a lot of them with like the purple and the pinks is really cool pick would have to be anime back when. Something about his personality goes into his thumbnails. You get that sense of like mid 90s digital art. It reminds me very much of like Viz or all of like the, the old anime magazines we used to get. And he's able to compile that sort of aesthetic with his personality into his videos. And as soon as I'm scrolling through and I see one of his thumbnails, I have to watch. For my first pick, I got Mr. Tomo2304. Hopefully, hopefully I pronounced his name right. 
But um, his videos are all to do with Bleach and I think he does a really fantastic job at capturing the style of the series when it comes to his thumbnails. He doesn't like overcomplicate things, there's enough space in the thumbnail for everything to be clear and shine as a defining part that helps the thumbnail like all come together really nicely. This is actually a little, this is a little tough. Another person I think does a great job is Tibri, Tibri Sensei. One of the things he's been doing lately is trying to get into the horror genre and he has been making some very, very interesting horror type uh, thumbnails recently that implore some of the stuff that he's been doing and evolving with, with his Naruto content that he's been doing. Um, I like the red. The red is very, it's, it's really poppy. He also kind of has this grainy aspect to it. And I also think he knows his fan base too. So I, I think he knows what types of thumbnails his fans want to see. Second choice was tough. I've been, I've been actually thinking about it like, for a little bit now, cause I wasn't sure who to say. Hey, I'm, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, um, Augie. I think he's improved, honestly. Like I was just looking at his channel and like his thumbnails have even improved from what they were. So in terms of the way he puts them together, it's like one specific or a few specific characters. And then like he'll, he'll balance the colors with the background as well, which kind of makes it pop. And then sometimes he'll have the, the writing behind it. It makes you, you know, you'll want to click on the video from that, I feel like. There's two that I'm told, cause like there's only two, right? That you're allowed to. Yeah, you can only pick two. Can I send you this person and be like, do they qualify? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, um, I'm gonna let you choose. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna let, I'm gonna let you choose who you wanna vote for. You know what? <laughs> I'm gonna flip a coin. Hey Siri, flip a coin. So my second pick is Captain Christian, according mm -hmm. to Fate. His thumbnails are so well crafted, in my opinion. They change all the time to correlate with what he's talking about like there isn't a general style to his channel i don't know he he's able to just give the the vibes the aesthetic of whatever he's talking about it feels so well crafted that you know the video is also well crafted his thumbnails are also very crunchy if <laughs> i don't know if that makes sense crunchy what do you mean by crunchy, crunchy? like like there's texture like it's sharp it's very like thought out my second choice is Thoughts from Shivam. He really just does essays on any sort of anime or manga. The way he does graphic design for them is always just really cool looking. His bleach thumbnail was super cool. Another case of like me not being caught up, but wanting to click on something just because the thumbnail looks so good. Mm -hmm. I think his use of color is really nice as well. And just the way that he edits things in a certain way to make it somewhat look like a like a little movie uh, thumbnail. Dr. Stone, his Dr. Stone thumbnail is like one of my favorites of his. I just think it looks like a movie still. My second pick would have to be Mass Man. He's been setting the meta in Anitube for a little while, and you know, I, I appreciate his takes. I like that he's very, you know, I'm just gonna give my opinion, say what I have to say. So it does kind of have that more personal, kind of low budgety feel, but then the presentation of his videos, the thumbnails especially, stand out so much, and you see many people, me included, trying to ape that aesthetic for what we're doing. My second pick is Ivo. The best way I can describe his thumbnails is like <laughs> beautiful, especially his most recent two. His thumbnails pop out incredibly well because he allows both the character, the character image he's using and the text to share the same like stage equally. He's been careful to not overcomplicate things to get a straightforward message across. He also has brilliant use of um, color for his thumbnails too, as his backgrounds are not only gorgeous, but they help like push the character and text up to the forefront for me. This is where the battle gets tough because nobody voted from the same creators. I knew this would happen. Well, I really got lucky last year. So it's time for the judge to step in. I did my research on graphic design, trying my best to calculate what made thumbnail art so appealing in the first place. And in the end, I, I, I picked the ones I liked. And our finalists were born. Now let's see who takes home the prize. No one voted for the same person, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess that's kind of what you wanted, right? <laughs> As I thought, right? Our tiebreaker. You're here. <laughs> wow. Wow. 
Ooh, I'm excited to see. <laughs> really? Really? Cool, cool, cool. Um, now that I have sent all of them, you have five seconds to submit your vote. Five, four, <laughs> three, two. I'm, I'm, I'm completely joking with you. Take your time. Oh, are you? <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, wait, 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 wait. Five, four, three, two. I'm completely <laughs> fucking with you. <laughs> Take your time. <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> Crap. Four, three, two. I would have seen two. I'm still loading. I'm joking with you. <laughs> Five. Five Four, seconds? Three, wait, wait, I haven't two, even looked at the one. idea. It's still loading. My internet's kind of whack. Please don't do this to me. I'm going to go for lines in motion. I don't know how to phrase it correctly, but they're very soft on the eyes and they feel very inviting. To just click on. I don't know how to word it, but like comforting. Oh, I could I can see like the videos as well. They're a bit animated as well, and everything has space. I can see from the images being used on. You can tell each um, thumbnail has kind of like a color palette they run with. This is my pick: lines in motion. I like a lot of the thumbnails that I'm seeing from AniTubers, especially within the last little while. Uh, I have seen some of Meta's work. Algi is a guy, I really like his content, and his thumbnails are very much on point, like you know exactly what you're going to get. However, I have to say Mask Man is my pick. Uh, like I said before, he sets the meta for what we do, and even though there are others who have really great standout thumbnails, there's something about his aesthetic that makes me interested in not just the content of the video, but the person behind the content itself. I want to try and not be biased here and not pick Esper. Augies are very simple and I like how saturated and like there's a color scheme going on with the with them too. See, I like all these. This is hard. <laughs> For me, I think it's down to to Augie Augie and Esper's. And now it's just like do I like all the colors more or I do do I like the colors popping? on the black and white panels that Esper uses. I think I'm gonna go with Esper's. There's a couple thumbnails in here that I just, I really like the color and especially like how contrasted it is with the like black and white panels. So I think I'm gonna go with Esper. Did, did you have a favorite out of curiosity? I do have a favorite out of all these okay. people, yeah. Tough decisions to be made. Very tough decisions. I'm trying to narrow it down. I'm looking at uh, Augie, uh, Lines in Motion, and probably uh, I Ivo. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. So, so I think I think I'm gonna go with uh, 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 Augie. I'm gonna go with Augie. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Augie. I did not just choose him because he was my original pick. In, so in certain aspects, his are more refined. I feel like than some of the other ones. Not, not too much going on, but refined and like very. Spe he's very uh, specific with the way that he he orchestrates the thumbnail, which I think is is very noticeable. I probably am taking this more seriously than I need to be. No, I mean, you're taking it as seriously as you need to be. You need, I, I, need, yeah. I need full okay. seriousness. Okay. 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 Yes. See, Augie and Masked Man, I'm like, they know their thumbnails. They know, like, I can look at those two and be like, that's an Augie thumbnail, that's a Masked Man thumbnail. But as for Metas, I've never heard of them. I've never seen a video from them, but I clicked on their channel and I was like, that, that's a style. Especially, like, the Jojoification, Jojoing yeah. it. The yeah. Jojoification of it all, like which I respect. It's chaotic, and Jojo is chaotic. No pun intended. Mm -hmm. Bizarre. It, yeah, it's literally like they're a Jojo channel, and I can see that. I can feel that first glance. This is a Jojo channel. Hi, Key. I think that's my vote. I think they're my vote. Mm -hmm. I have never seen a style nor thumbnail like Meta's. So therefore, I think I'm voting for Metas. I respect the Jojoification of it all. That's a word now. Okay, Johnny is the last one to vote. So if Johnny picks Ivel, then my job becomes a lot harder because I have to step in as the judge and choose the winner. So the question is, 
Does Johnny Star hate me? <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. Uh, let's see who Johnny voted for. Now the thing is, what's really dope about all of these is that they have their own unique style. Uh, they're really great in their own way. So we have Avail, we have Lines in Motion, Augie, and Metis. Now do I have to pick one? I have to pick one out of these you two? You have to pick one. Okay. It's difficult. This is hard. Because again, I like these for two very separate reasons. But if I had to pick, gotta go with Metis. I gotta go with Metis. I think he embodies that, that what I'm talking about when it comes to what I think is really dope for um, a content creator's thumbnails. They're so unique. They're so to him. They work the best with him. He has his own very specific style that I'm never gonna see on anyone else's thumbnails. He takes risks. He does the, like, there, there's just something about them that just speak his personality into life. And they're also really good thumbnails. So I, my man Metis, hats off to you. You deserve it. You the guy. Winner! And we have a winner. Congratulations, Metis. You are officially the winner of Battle of the Thumbnails 2022. Here is your award. With this award, you can screenshot it. You can post it. You can brag about it. You know, just a, just a bunch of stuff. You know, you can, you can do a bunch of stuff with it. So tell me in your opinion, what makes a good thumbnail? Contrast. So like contrasting colors or like with espers, the contrast of like black and white with color, just anything that like makes it pop even just a little bit more. Simplicity is like the key stuff that I really look for that draw me in. My kind of go-to with how I love thumbnails and if I want to click on that. Thumbnails that have something to say, something that like pops, that really catches the eye. But also, I think there's something to be said about taking risks and making something unique to yourself. Finding a style that isn't bland, that isn't too robotic and formulaic like again like sp speaks to who you are and what you're trying to present as a creator but something that's clear clear and definitely works with the title so if like i what i don't like about titles are if you this is something i used to do um it's when you have your title in the thumbnail like in the picture when they're supposed to just be working together instead of just you repeating yourself. Obviously, there's kind of my own opinion, but then there's also got to be um, YouTube's opinion. So that I feel like you go you off what gets the views as well as is probably more important to some YouTubers. Like what gets the views and then other ones like their art of the thumbnail will be important as well. So it's kind of like you have that balance. A good thumbnail doesn't have to follow the standard set from what everyone else is doing but it does have to be different even if it's consistent to what your overall aesthetic is there has to be something interesting enough about this thumbnail about an anime that i already know that i like or don't like that makes me want to watch someone talk about it for 10 15 30 minutes or whatever so for me, a thumbnail really is about the packaging. You have to create the most attractive packaging you possibly can, utilizing any abilities that you can. You heard it here first, folks. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. So I just wanted to say that um, I'm very heartbroken that um, my thumbnails were not chosen for, for this list. And I wanna say that all of you who voted, I'm very disappointed in you. Um, I think that, you know, it's just very, very saddening. Very saddening. Um, I don't know if I'll ever be able to recover from this. I gotta be honest. Um... <laughs> and a special thank you to these lovely content creators. Guys, you already know what to do. Go check out their content. Go subscribe to their channels. They do some great work. I'm upset that my name hasn't been brought up enough. Y'all need to figure out what's going on with that. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's bias or hate against me. But listen. The goat is the goat. I Sure, I haven't made a video in 11 months. What's that got to do with anything? But if you're an anti-tuber and you want to be in next year's video, then go follow us on Twitter and stay in contact. I love meeting new creators. 
But if you want more from us, then go hit that sub and bell button because it doesn't hurt. Go follow us on Twitter for more anime shit takes and discourse. And also follow us on Twitch because we stream weekly. If you want to chat with me directly and tell me to stop making videos for some odd reason, then go follow us on Di- Nope, nope, go join Discord to tell you how much I know about Discord. <laughs> as always, thank you so much for watching. And as always, my friends, I'm RJ Lane, and this has been On The Rise.